They was mad. But see, there was only two of them. Yeah, you know? were mad. They were. That was. You should know that. No, you'd have been okay because you because are... I am a lawyer. Yes, and during the week you cover up those nice gnarly tattoos with a gray flannel suit and make a nice steady income. Oh man, Tom Stubbs would love hanging out with you boys. Yeah. He may be a politician. He may be a politician, but he ain't no square. Smoke Dave? Oh hell yes. <laughs> We're moving up in the world, Johnny. There's a congressman. Need your help. Tom Stubbs the third. I told you keeping that lawyer around would have its uses. This guy's at one of the dumbass gentlemen's clubs in Algonquin. The kind without tits. The jousters. Politicians and lawyers? What are we becoming, man? Next thing you're gonna tell me we're doing some shit kicking for the LCPD. It's just opposite the Libertonian. Go pay him a visit. If you're still thinking about your brothers and not just your own ego, that is. Do you have an appointment? Uh, no. I thought I'd inquire about a membership. Excuse me? Uh, yeah. Under this ravaged, drug-addled exterior lies the heart of a reactionary prick, so I thought I'd fit right in here. I think you should leave, sir, before I call the police. I think you should leave, sir, before I... Dude, it is the 21st century. Let me tell you something. You've got a job wiping rich pricks' asses, and for some reason you seem a little pleased with yourself. Will you leave? Trust me, man, nothing would please me more. But I'm supposed to see Tom Stubbs, and well, he said to meet him here. Oh, Mr. Stubbs, sir. Okay, you only had to say so, sir. Follow me, will you? Mr. Stubbs is in the day spa, receiving some back work. Right you are. <clears throat> <laughs> Uh. <clears throat> Mr. Stubbs, a gentleman for you. Oh, thank you, Levis. And thank you. So, you're David Grossman's friend. Oh, yeah. We're old, old buddies. Love the old boy network. Yeah, I can imagine. So, what is it that you want? Could you excuse us, sugar? Okay, sure. And thank you. Best massage I ever had that didn't involve a happy ending or a poignant sense of guilt afterwards. <laughs> <laughs> See you tomorrow. Tom Stubbs, how do you do? Well, now that you mention it, I'm starting to feel a little queasy. Don't be pathetic. And no secrets here, pal. Now listen, I'm in a bit of a bother sport. Well, I think they can fix that with surgery these days, you know? Can we stop with the jokes? Grossman tells me you're reliable. Grossman? That guy's an asshole. Look, I'm not gonna insult your intelligence by pretending to be a good guy. I'm a politician. I'm a cynic. I'm very needy. I need people to like me. I need people to like me so that they elect me. I need people to elect me so that I feel marginally less bad about myself when I stare into the mirror. That being said, I try to do a good deed here and there. Democracy's a beautiful thing. Personally, I prefer a benign dictatorship without the pretense of choice. But let's leave the political discussion, shall we? Yes, let's. Unfortunately, an awful man has ensured that my chance of being re-elected is pretty much zero. Why? Blackmail? Not exactly. I need his money, and he hasn't died. What? You want me to kill your father? No, that's disgusting. How could you suggest such a thing? My father died years ago, thank God. No, my uncle. That sanctimonious do-gooder controls the family trust. Whoa, that's heavy, man. Yes. So is being arrested for drug running and spending the next 30 years in prison. You and your little gang, I mean. I see. You make a wonderful politician. I know. Now, you've got to get the old goat today. Make it spectacular. Make it appear as though it's a terrorist act. That'll do wonders for my campaign in all sorts of ways. Uh, Levis will give you a package on the way out. Right. Oh, and... 
Klebitz, trust me, I am what I am. But I look out for those who help me. A blackmailer with a conscience. Beautiful. with the eulogy my researchers drafted up. Sadly, Stubbs, I'm not gonna be able to disappoint you. Your uncle is no longer with us. For my conscience's sake, I hope your lack of humanity is a genetic quality. Uh, he was a man of the people, a philanthropist, a pompous windbag, and an occasional ketamite. Typical Stubbs, you might say. Sleep easy and drop into the club sometime soon. Weasel News. Terror strikes again. This is a terror alert. In a bloody and vicious attack that will surprise nobody, a prominent civil rights activist, humanitarian, and member of the most prestigious and exclusive circles of WASP society has been murdered shortly after arriving in town. Patrician of the prominent Stubbs political clan, 78-year-old Arthur Stubbs was killed by what police believe was a splinter cell of insurgents shortly after his plane landed at Francis International Airport. Mike Whiteley is at the scene. Thanks, Jim. It's pandemonium here. We've got police looking moody and trying to sign book deals. We've got firemen posing with hoses and making Christmas calendars. We've got members of the FIB flashing badges and writing memoirs. Terror has struck again, but luckily this time, everyone plans to cash in. Mike Whiteley, Weasel News. Ah, Mr. Stubbs is expecting you. Hey, how you doing, man? Oh, yes, sir. Um, hello, sir. I'm fine. Good. Hey, let me ask you something. Do you really enjoy life? I don't really know what you mean, sir. I mean, to serving all these rich morons, you know, smell of money and all that stuff, you know. Does that make you happy? <laughs> yes, sir, something like that. And tell me, sir, are you happy? I mean, has giving the man the, uh, finger really satisfied some inner urge within you, sir? Well, I think what I've learned is that there's always a man, dude. He just wears a different uniform. Uh, as you say, sir. Uh, Mr. Stubbs is in the steam room uh, right this way. Clevitz! How you doing, sport? Hey. I'm fully clothed in a steam room with a murdering politician. <laughs> well, my whole life falls to shit all around me. Fuck it, I'm all right. Miss your uncle? Oh, I've doubled up on the therapy. Change your therapist. Oh, but I've been seeing Dr. White since I was seven. The man's a genius. Okay, what can I do for you, man? I'm not really dressed for this, and you said it was urgent. Yes, well, <clears throat> there's been a, a clerical error down in the deepest recesses of the Civic Citadel. A group of... Outstanding civilians, voters, have mistakenly been taken into LCPD custody. Oh. Well, isn't there something you could do about that yourself, man? Pull some strings or something? No, I'm afraid not, Sport. Way too far down the line for that. Too much red tape, yada, yada, yada. No, all you need to know is that uh, these gentlemen are in a prison transport bus, and you, my friend, need to liberate them. Sure, I got it. Now, the bus is at the Leftwood Police Station. Now get them out of there, and we will make it worth your while. Okay. I got it. Don't sweat it, Clebitz. <laughs> Whoa, those coveralls chafing you? Oh, you must be used to wearing Perseus suits and shit. Look, it was a victimless crime. My taxes pay your salary. Long way from the exchange now, aren't you? You yuppie pricks. Still think you're better than guys like me, huh? You should be put down. I saw what you did to that orderly. The man's organs ain't meant to look like that. Come on! Whoa! You're the best tasting thing I've had since I got locked up. 
That's intense. All right, since we've all uh, eaten, we've got a new destination, people. Thank you, sir. My fellow prisoners and I are most grateful. We've got a boat to catch. Oh, I do like to be beside the seaside. Oh, I do like to be beside the sea. Oh, I do like to walk along the brum, 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 where the brass band say fiddly bum, 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 bum. Bon voyage. Your friends are out to sea, Mr. Stubbs. Good luck to them. I think they'll need it. Oh, don't you worry. Those boys don't need luck. You should have seen them in 73. Believe me, a short recession and a trip to Panama isn't going to finish those boys off. All traitors by blood. Great genes. I was thinking the problem might lie with one of the other passengers on their little cruise. Later on, Mr. Congressman. Clements? Clements, you there? I'm here. What can I do you for, Congressman? Oh, listen, Clements. The taxpayer is picking up the bill for this call, so I'm going to make it brief. The amount of help I need from a man with your skills has tripled in volume, and that's a conservative estimate. If you're interested in helping me out with this, you can call me, and I'll tell you what I need. The pay will be more than adequate. Once you go down the dark path, it just keeps going, don't it, Stubbs? I'll call if I feel the need to keep you in the lifestyle to which you're accustomed. Ah, Johnny boy. How's it going out there? More shitstorm than steam room, Congressman. We weren't all born into money. No, some of us married into it. Ha, ha, ha. And some people killed for it. Got any work for me, man? Well, now that you mention it, there might be a few things that need to be handled discreetly. Call me if you feel up to it, sport. Bye now. Clebitz! Clebitz, you caught me in a fine mood. Just heard some good news about a bill I've been championing. It's like talking to a vampire who's just spotted a virgin. Sucking more money out of hard American workers, I bet. Now calm down. Work out the tension. Get a massage. Beat off. Kill someone. I don't care. In the meantime, I'd like you to help me get some info on the deputy mayor. His car's over on West Dyke. Now you need to take it over to Garage and Musketeer to be fitted with surveillance equipment. Now you can drive cars as well as bikes, yes? Sure, I can handle a cage, man. Later on. All right. But just in case, I'll instruct my mechanic to knock out any dings you might make along the way. Now be quick and get back before Mr. Dawkins realizes it's missing. Now mind you, you might have to go off radar and take some shortcuts. Call me when it's done. Now hey there, sport. Well, Mr. Representative, your little microphone is planted. I hope it gives you all the sexual kicks you're looking for. Oh, Johnny, I wouldn't want to hog all the fun for myself. I'll text you the numbers. You can have a listen, too. Maybe stick them on the web as well, once I've got what I need. Capiche? Ciao, buddy. Ah, if it isn't the road warrior himself. Still sticking it to the man, man? You just did a line of Yang, Stubbsy? No, I knew you were stuck in the 70s, but that's ridiculous. Now, in all seriousness, though, some jumped-up little twerp is about to go to the press with sensitive information. Wouldn't be in this situation if it wasn't for positive discrimination, damn it. Can you make him see his mistake? So you're fighting positive discrimination with some good old-fashioned negative discrimination? Fair enough. I can't claim to like it, but I also can't claim to have a choice. Exactly. That's part of my new campaign strategy. Giving people no choice. I just impersonate the other candidate, and it seems to work. Damn, I know you. You're the guy who just realized what a big fucking mistake it'd be to talk to some mudslinging hack about Tom Stubbs. Make a thrust like that could get you some serious jail time, sir. That was a big error. You're going away for a long time. What's on the front page tomorrow, Clebitz? Good news for you is that it ain't your ugly mug. Bad news for everyone is there might be a story about that friend of yours getting killed. He wanted to talk about you and me to Liberty City's finest. Oh, you've got a mind for damage control, Johnny. If this rebel thing doesn't work out, why don't you become a lobbyist? Call me later, all right? Ah, Clemens, just the man. You ever play racquetball? Is that what you're after? 
Run out of tennis partners when you killed off your uncle? Oh, God, no. Just making idle chit-chat. What I'm after is someone to snap a shot of a fellow congressman picking up a lady of the night. How about it? If it means bringing down scumbags like you, Stubbsy boy, I'm in. There you go, sport, with your common or garden morality. It's very sweet and really very embarrassing. Trust me, next to the murder, narcotics dealings, and crimes against hygiene you commit, a little hypocrisy is hardly a sin. He's over on Traeger Street in Port Tudor. Get a good one. I'm here. Problem is, I can't tell your colleague from all the other bottom feeders hanging around. My man's in a red cognoscenti. Now make sure the photograph's tabloid material, will you, sport? Ah, oh, there's a champ. Stubbs, you get my message? It's sensational! I might employ you to come around and photograph my family Christmas card as well. Bye now. Johnny, hi. I'm in a meeting with the mayor. Oh, can you give him a big fuck off from me while you got him? <laughs> I sure will, sport. Old bastard just got to shut up for a second first. Listen, I need you to deal with an old friend of mine. He's meeting an intern at the Superstar Cafe in Lancaster. First it's family. Now it's friends. You're not a good guy to get close to, Stubbs. Personal relationships are one thing, but I always honor a business agreement. Yes, Mr. Mayor. Huge proponent of change. Always have been. Clevitt, how are we doing? I'm doing okay. You are down one good friend to the horrors of gangland violence. I'd make it a campaign issue if I were you. Appreciate the tip. But I think I'll stick to terrorism, the economy, and the environment. Much more fashionable and voter-friendly. Christ, sell! 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 You lost it, Stubbs? What are you talking about? Johnny! Sorry! Thought you were my broker, mate. These markets! Oh, boy, I'm getting raped! I've not felt like this since junior high school. Anyway... A friend of mine, who may well have contributed to the recent Balsack meltdowns, has been arrested by an FIB task force. I need you to liberate her from an alleyway off Vitello and Burgeon. She needs to enjoy her bonus half million in peace. Well, who says campaign donations don't buy anything? I'm on it, Stubbs. Apart from watching a woman sail into the sunset with millions of dollars that belong to mom and pop investors, I'm okay. Oh, well done, well done. Conscience aside, I'll send her your best on my next holiday to the Caribbean. Thanks. Stubbsy! Clements, listen. Briefly wanted to touch base and thank you for your recent assistance. Think it's probably best for both of us to keep some distance now. Don't want some fed with a stick up his ass connecting the dots, you know? Sure, sure. So are you gonna put me up for membership of your little sauna club? Now that I've helped you out? <laughs> you know, I don't know what the committee would think of your body art, personal hygiene, or fuck you attitude, but we'll give it a go. Good luck, sport. I'm not in the mood to do any killing for the supposed elite today. You're gonna have to get your own hands dirty, Stubbs. Oh, spare me the lecture. This is important, Jonathan. Important enough for me to come down from my ivory tower and rub elbows with you blue-collar types on the wrong side of the West River. Meet me at your clubhouse. I drink single malt. <laughs> nice place you got here, Johnny. Not quite sure I meet the dress code, but I think I like the smoking policy. What the fuck do you want? Now, is that any way to treat a friend? Are we friends? Well, I think so. You've certainly seen me naked. You want a cigar? Do you want to go fuck yourself? Oh, not particularly. But listen, your friend, Ray, don't worry about him. Why not? Apparently, he and a lot of his associates under some serious observation and in the process of imploding. They'll either be dead or inside within a month or so. Best thing you can do? Stay away from him. What about Billy Gray? Yes, well, you've got a bit of a problem there, sport. He's been talking inside. Thinks he can help pin a major drug dealing ring on you and your buddy in the chair. 
thinks he's going into the witness protection program. And if he collars you, you'll do 15 years, and he'll live in a condo in Arizona. Well, I don't doubt that, Mr. Stubbs, but he's on the inside. Yeah, I know. And there's currently very large walls and armed guards between me and him. <laughs> yeah, well, you're a smart guy. You'll figure something out. If you get into trouble, you call me when you get there. I might have something to help you with. Good. I'll need it. Hey, one more thing, Subs. Why are you doing this? I told you. I was good for a favor. If you wish it, my Johnny? Congressman? I see your problems have been resolved. Is it back to normal at the Lost Motorcycle Club? No, it ain't, Stubbs. You see, we got a set of codes that mean you can't keep on like nothing's happened after brothers turn on brothers and your world turns to shit. My, my. A man of principle. Impressive, Clevitz. You must find Liberty City an awful place to live. Such a shame your values are more suited to medieval times. Yeah, well, I'd prefer to stand up for something than to chop and change and stab a friend in the back to get ahead. That's why I didn't become a politician. So long, sport. Congressman Stubbs cannot come to the phone right now. He's busy serving the people and communities of this great state and nation. Please continue to donate generously to his re-election campaign. God bless America. Tom Stubbs is proud patriot and a God-fearing man. He's anti-choice and pro-freedom. He loves democracy and wants to reform the government. He will serve you well. Visit www.congressmanthomasstubbs.com for more information.